Hey guys, it's Jane here from Legion Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about Battlefield 1's lack of weapon customization. So, Battlefield 1 is different than most other Battlefield games. I'm going to talk about why this might actually hurt the game itself, and I also talk about the benefits of the situation, but why I personally think that it's a bad decision. So, Battlefield 1, for those of you who don't know, is going to have sort of weapon variants. Don't worry, it's not like Advanced Warfare, where you get them out of supply drops. But they're weapon variants that modify the gun slightly. They're basically like attachment presets for the weapon. So for example, one variant of the gun will have bayonet and a rifle scope, where the other one will have iron sights and a faster fire rate, and, but no rifle scope or bayonet. So they're basically just different attachments that change up the gun statistics. I talked about how this specifically affects snipers in a previous video, so don't forget to go and check that out. But this, originally I thought this would be a sort of entry into weapon customization for people who aren't new to the game to be able to just use these presets, but we would still be able to customize our weapons. However, various people have said that you won't actually be able to customize your weapons in this game. You won't be able to change up attachments, change up sights, or anything. You'll just be able to choose from these preset variants. Now in Battlefield 4, one of my favorite things to do was when I found a new gun, because there's so many weapons in the game that even after a couple hundred hours you might not have used certain guns, and using the iron sights on the gun, and then finally unlocking that sight for the weapon. And then if I didn't get the sight I wanted, I keep using the weapon until I got the sight, and it gave you a sense of progression for the weapon, and something to work towards in the game. Now, like I said in my previous video, they could do it so that if you get 100 kills, you unlock a certain variant. However, I don't think that's as satisfying as unlocking every single attachment. Now, Battlefield 4, something that did they did wrong is towards the end of the game, they made attachments almost worthless. Like, most attachments had so many negatives that they almost outweighed the positives, and that's just a really bad thing. Hardline, I think, did it much better. They made most attachments have really good positives, and you would basically be choosing between positives. You could choose a compensator, which would lower your recoil more, or you could choose a heavy barrel, which would lower your recoil less, but it would also increase accuracy. So it was basically just like choosing which attachment benefited your weapon the most. But Battlefield 4, I found myself running most guns naked because of the sort of attachment thing they did and made people go away from attachments because they weren't very good. In addition to this, they also had potato grips, angle grips, stubby grips, so many different kinds of grips, and there were only really three different kinds of grips but they had so many that it I could see how it could be overwhelming to a new user and if it wasn't for YouTubers like Level Cap who explained that these attachments are the same they just are different skins I personally wouldn't have known except if you read the specific statistics but I could see how it could be confusing to new users and how it may turn people off of the game but I don't think it's a reason to get rid of the entire attachment system. Like I said, Hardline's attachment system works great. I really don't get why they got rid of it in this alpha stage, and I've heard that they're getting rid of it and just putting in variants. However, if the community complains enough, obviously this could change. And because, it, again, even though they may have made a decision on it, it is still in pre-alpha stage. So it might not make it into the full game, and I hope they still put attachments in. Even if it is basic customization, just with iron sights, ACOG sight, and maybe a rifle scope for most weapons, that's still enough customization to incentivize people to use weapons to unlock certain attachments. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield 1. I'm not going to be posting too much other than these sort of discussions on the game, and obviously when we get more info, I'll be the first to update you on that news. Hopefully we're going to get info on a beta very soon, or at least some sort of close alpha. But again, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe. That's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.